Kitty. I'm going to talk to you about your maths job for today. Now, yesterday, I know that you did lots of sharing. I know that some of you use your part whole models. We've seen lots of pictures of you having a go and trying your best at sharing into half, sharing things into two groups so people have got half each. Now, today, I've got three toys, one, two, three, and they're all a bit hungry, and they really want some Christmas chocolates. <laughs> we do, don't we, Miss Ransom? So, Bruce wants some Christmas chocolates, and so does Jenny, and so does Woody. They're all a bit hungry. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do, I think, is I might count how many I've got, just to practice my careful counting. So, I'm going to count this, and I'm going to just put them on here so I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine sweets. I wonder how many they'll get. Now, Miss, yesterday, Miss Bowden showed you how to share fairly by giving one to one person and then one to the next person. So let's see if I can do it with three people. Okay. One for Bruce, one for Jenny, one for Woody, one for Bruce, one for Jenny, one there, and one for you, one for you, one for you, and I'm all out. <gasps> so let's see how many they've got each. We've got one, two, three. Bruce has got three. Can you show me three? One, two, three. Jenny has got one, two, three. Excellent, they've all got the same so far. Woody has got one, two, three. Yes. So, I wonder if we could record that as a number sentence. It's a bit tricky when you've got three things, but it's a bit of a challenge, but I think you'll be able to do it. Okay, so, Woody's got three for me. Jenny's got three, and Bruce has got three. And I want to know how many they've got all together. So I need to use, I'm doing all together, I need an add, don't I? So show me your little add and your big one. So I've got three, add three, add three, and all together I've got nine. Perfect. I think you've forgotten something, Miss Ransom. What is it? What's the other side? You don't need another ad. I've forgotten my equals. We like sometimes forget that one, but it's okay because I can add it in now. I'll just correct my mistake. So three, add three, add three equals, and it equals nine. Well then. Quite proud of myself, that's quite tricky. So today, we want you to see if you can share between more than two, so you could share between three of your toys, you could share some sweets or some treats between them, or between you and your grown-ups, or the people at home. We can't wait to see what you get up to and see how good you are at fair sharing. Give yourself a marshmallow clap, Miss Ransom, because you're doing a really good job. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is Friday and Owl's come to say to it to woo. Now your literacy activity today is to retell the story of the Owl Babies. Now you can choose if you want to make anything to help you. You might make some stick puppets and draw a picture of an owl and cut it out. Use a straw or a lolly stick to make a puppet. You might draw some pictures to help you tell the story. I today have got my owl puppet just to show you some of the things that you could do. Now, you could tell the story to your grown-ups or you could tell the story to your toys. Sometimes it's nice to tell your toys. Now, what we need you to think about is the order of the story. So what came first in Owl Babies? The first thing that happened is the mummy, she flew away from the nest, didn't she? And then you need to practice all those silly voices that you've been doing when you've been telling your stories. You could be Bill and say, I want my mummy. 
you could do the cold wood when they're all scared in the dark and choose to send us your story so if you draw some pictures we'd love to see them or if you tell the story with all those silly voices and you, you do a really super job which i'm sure you will then take a video and send us it on tapestry so that we can see what you're up to and see how amazing you are hope to see it soon good night moon by margaret wise brown in the great green room there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon and three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady who was whispering hush good night room Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks and good night, socks. Good night, little house and good night, mouse. Good night comb and good night brush. Good night nobody. Good night mush. And good night to the old lady whispering hush. Good night stars. Good night air. Good night noises everywhere.